All right, and we're back. I'm like, why is it? Hell is locked. What the hell? Previously on Lords and Ladies, Lady Amelia came out of time asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna the head junkies could go away. off without a warning. I had to be careful. I'm gonna hurt you. Needles and horror <laughs> magazine. <laughs> it's pain. <laughs> What's the point of these bags? Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. I found Muerte's room. Hold up, uh. Did you hear something? Nah, take it easy. Muerte had received a letter. I saw! Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angela Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. 
was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Not the turn around. received a letter. So eight painkillers? It's not a pretty sight. I 
Hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. Three would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. I'll see you on the next one. Later.